First division of the classic distaff mile of 2001. There, off and pacing. Coming out hard is Hawaiian Flash for Miller to go directly to the lead. Aquatic Yankee along the inside. Yes, it's true from the outside. Looking to drop in from fourth is Aquatic Yankee. Now she'll uh, give herself uh, the third position just ahead of lifetime member. Second from last, Eternal Chem Nation and Sporty Lucy is going to trail. Staying out there is Manzi with Yes It's True. He's going to drive to the top. Yes It's True had a big two hole but decided not to take it. She overtook Hawaiian Flash for the first turn lead in 26 and four. Yes It's True. Uh, the heavily post time favored mare is up top a length into the backstretch. Hawaiian Flash carried her apiece, sits along in second, closing up in third as Aquatic Yankee after three-eighths of the mile. Then it's back to Lifetime Member, another length and a quarter to Eternal Cam Nation, and Sporty Lucy is a closer sixth. Yes, it's true, is getting a noticeable second quarter breather. Flushed first over from fourth, went Lifetime Member. She's gone aggressively first over it. Yes, it's true. They made that half in 56 and three, and a second quarter of 29 and four. Yes, it's true. Into the final turn, Lifetime Member flushed first over. Hawaiian Flash is back in pocket position. Eternal Cam Nation is in a great spot. Second over from fourth. Aquatic Yankee at the inside fifth. And Sporty Lucy sixth on the outside. Field is bunching up now. Three and a half lengths front to back. They chase. Yes, it's true. First over was lifetime member. Here comes Eternal Cam Nation from second over at head stretch. And Hawaiian Flash has enjoyed a pocket trip since just past the quarter. They passed three quarters and 125. Yes, it's true. Surrendered the lead. Bursting pass. Eternal Cam Nation from second over Eternal Cam Nation. Yes, it's true, is trying to come back along the inside, but Eternal Cam Nation is clear. Hawaiian Flash back out between mares, then Aquatic Yankee. Eternal Cam Nation from second over wins it by two to Aquatic Yankee and Hawaiian Flash 152 and four. Eternal Cam Nation in the classic distaff mile. Three Eternal Cam Nation, the fourth race winner from Mohawk in the first division of the Classic Distaff Mile of 2001. Cam Fella, four year old Bay Mare from Cool World, owned by the Eternal Cam Nation stable of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Trained by Jeff Miller, driven to victory by Randall Waples. It's her first win in three starts this year. In her two year old campaign, she set a Mohawk track record that still stands to this day. And she's a winner in the Classic Distaff Mile in 152 and 4. The winner circle presentation made by Mr. Hugh Mitchell, Senior Vice President of Racing for the Woodbine and Mohawk Circuit, and by Mr. Nick Salvi, Executive Director of the Classic Series. Stand by for the live post race interview from the winner circle in just a few moments. Another mild upset this evening, this time in the classic Distaff, Eternal Camnation. Now this uh, mare, a focal point earlier tonight on our trivia question, uh, one of uh, five horses on the program tonight to have won at least nine races in a row, and uh, she looked the part tonight. She's finally come back. Uh, Randy, your thoughts on your initial drive on this mare? Um, well, she was just awesome. She always is. You know, it's the second time I got to drive her, and uh, both times she's never disappointed me. She's just a real Cadillac, and, uh, you know, I was, I was lucky they got a good trip and everything, but she, you know, she's a good mare. She makes her own trips. Didn't hit the board in two starts coming in tonight this season, but uh, in talking to Jeff Miller earlier tonight, he sounded very confident uh, despite that. Uh, did he have any words of advice before the race? Um, no, he just said that she's better than her lines look. He said last week she got caught in the two hole, and, uh, you know, she, uh, she raced a lot better than what it looks like on paper. And the last time I, I drove her back in the summertime at Woodbine last year, she looked a little flat on paper, and he told me she'd be better, and she was. And, you know, he's a pretty sharp trainer. He always brings her back in good form, and, you know, he manages to race her all year and make big money with her, so he's a pretty sharp guy. So when he told me that her lines were better than, uh, or her racing was better than what her lines looked, I was pretty confident. All right, just had a look at the replay, and uh, she was able to get a perfect second over trip. Is that the way you were hoping uh, 
to uh, engineer the trip? Yeah, exactly. I didn't want, uh, you know, I didn't want to get into any speed duels. Didn't want to have to race first over. Just wanted to race her with cover. Like I said, again, going back to last year at Woodbine, I got locked in with her, and she comes some ridiculously wicked half, like 52 seconds or something like that. So I knew if I could keep her close, she'd be have a big kick for me, and that's what she had. She's just a real pleasure. Congratulations. Good luck the rest of the way. Appreciate it, Greg. Thanks. Randy Waples, Eternal Cam Nation. Another upset tonight in the Classic Series. This time the Distaff winning over, yes, it's true, snapping that one's win streak as well.